Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily checkity check, tuning into the energies of the day whenever you are drawn to see this reading, asking for guidance, any messages that can give us clarity, any news we can use, starting with the angelic light worker. Number 38, a treasure of the soul. All righty. A sacred object is a treasure of the soul, a gift from a loved one, a crystal or healing tool, or a feather or flower that appears during a nature walk can be sacred. Honoring an object creates space for the spiritual and the material to be held in unity in your heart. You are blessing the material world and opening a purposeful pathway for in spiritual energy to flow. You are encouraged to connect with the treasures that resonate with your soul and gift them to others as you feel it best. To amplify this process, you may wish to dedicate and charge a crystal, altar, or another sacred object for a specific purpose using the ritual below. Archangel Uriel is communicating that you can love the material gifts you have in your life, have gratitude for all you can learn and enjoy from them, yet also commit to the more profound treasures beyond material possessions, such as love, freedom, wisdom, compassion, and integrity, and grow them in your heart. You are at a point of spiritual empowerment, and there will be a sign that helps you recognize this. Hmm. A sign that helps you recognize that you are at a point of spiritual empowerment. While I'm reading this, I kept um, thinking about the last couple summers looking in, at my garden and Oftentimes, I can see my next door neighbor's garden from where I'm basking and gazing at my garden and flowing love to the flowers, to whatever plants that I've been working on. I just, so it brought so much love. It was easy to flow love. And one at one point, I looked over at my neighbor's garden and they love their, their gardening. Wow. And I could feel they love their garden probably more than I, I mean, that not that it's a competition, but I could feel the energetic, the energy that they've shared in the objects, shared between them, created this loving energy within the object. And I realized I could do more, that they really, I mean, that is really where they placed their focus of their love in their garden the opposite com also comes to mind um moving into a new place and the mirrors have a lot of judgment and ugly not liking what they see in them and so i can feel what people who've lived here prior had the relationship they had with their mirrors and that energy that they they shared with the mirror was not enough, ugly, um, to this, to that, critical. And so I'm healing the mirrors. Just it's like, oh, that's not me. That's, you know. So how you connect with objects are important. And they do leave a residue. That sounds kind of, but so being mindful of the energy that you share with objects. Boy, a lot of house healing energies just coming up. I love house healings. It's fun to, that's kind of what I'm doing is going around the house and tuning into what energies are stuck, where they're moving, um, and how we get our energy reacts and responds to those stuck energies. We might think 
we really are ugly or not enough, but we're really tapping into, tuning into an energy that's stuck in the mirror. So interesting, huh? All right. So also I was getting a very high vibrational angelic vibe for this reading and an earth vibe. Um, kind of the as above, so below. So for the animal oracle for the earth energy coming in, porcupine innocence, free yourself of guilt and shame. Tuning into how um, maybe you're feeling defensive about actions that you've taken steps that you've taken you know what's interesting is i'm getting um when i would realize in the past younger versions of me that i overstepped a boundary i hurt someone and i was guilty and even ashamed there is this interesting quality where I I couldn't just acknowledge the mess up and admit to it and say, you know, I really messed up. I don't know where to go from here, but I realized that I messed up and I just want to apologize. Something along that I couldn't even do that. So instead I would just show up extra nice, like, hi. <laughs> Can we just all ignore that I just totally stepped in it the last time we were together? And um, and then I've had that also done to me, someone who really messes up but won't acknowledge it, won't speak on it. They just want to gloss over it and pretend like nothing's happened. Um, and I think that's the guilt and shame that stops them from their, they get trapped in their egos. Because I know I did. I didn't like how people were perceiving me because it was correct. So anyway, maybe that picture's coming up in the collective. How people view you how you view yourself and starting in the past energy, the heart chakra. So heart chakra is right here. It's the energetic center that deals with you, you, what makes you, you special, unique, necessary, important to the whole. individual boy I'm tuning into this and I'm tuning into a divine you the you that's connected with all that is the you that is a separate entity a separate spark of light and individual aspect. And also at the same time, you're a part of the all, the all that is, that they can't be separated. Wow, okay. It's very, it feels very quantum. It feels like um, blurring the lines that we're a continuation of something that we're not, we can't ever fully be separated. Although we get to experience that here in the 3D, a feeling of separation, separation from ourselves, separation from source. So in the past, that I feel like this is talking about the death of the end of the belief that you are separate, that you're not connected with everything 
that everyone isn't a part of a greater whole. It feels like you turned your back on old ways. Ooh, I'm also get. it feels like um, some people around you in the past found your spark, your realizing your connection. They found that, um, ooh, they found that difficult to work with. They found you difficult to work with. I feel like this is you, if you are part of the divine and the, you, then you're not giving your power away to someone else to tell you what to do and how to feel. This is the beginning of realizing your own consciousness. Yeah, and it looks like to explore your own consciousness, to explore who you are and to find your own path, um, you had to let go of a lot of um, a lot of old beliefs, a lot of old patterns, a lot of perspectives, a lot of old ways of speaking to yourself and to others and let go of people who um, are not supportive of you and your path, people who are toxic, who um, yeah, this was hard. This was very difficult, but I feel like once you saw, you can't unsee what was going on. You can't, you, yeah, you saw what was going on. You got to a place where you couldn't, it's like the, the universe put you in a position where you had to acknowledge, um, what was toxic, what wasn't working. It looks like you got really good at denial. So things might have had to get pretty severe to get your attention that this isn't what you're doing isn't working. And your current energy is three pentacles in reverse, recognition and reward. So in current energy, There's that energy of um, getting people um, who don't understand you, people who are determined to not understand you. I feel like this comes from a deep under misunderstanding about themselves, aspects of themselves. Ooh, it also looks like you carry um, some energy of the truth in your light, in your energy, and that could be very upsetting for people who have no intentions to be truthful with themselves or be fully truthful in this lifetime. I feel like you've had to turn your back on a lot of um, I feel like you're having difficulty with institutions. This is more like entities. You're having I feel like you're in current energy it almost feels like you're looking at pictures and beliefs that the government's out to get you groups 
are out to get you. Groups are, remember these are beliefs. I'm not saying that you guys have paranoia, paranoid um, tendencies, but I'm saying it might feel like in current energies, like the universe is against me. This, the government is taxing me. Like these big beliefs that we have that there's some large energy that doesn't want us to move forward. I'm getting that that is showing us if this is resonating, if you do feel like, you know, I do feel like um, the people at work, the company is against me or not for me or something like that. They don't believe me. Some of this is happening so you can, you wake up and move there's something else it's time to move away from something that doesn't fit your needs any longer i'm also getting that there's really there's an energy within you it's almost like making the the a government or a business or this group the universe Oh, it's a last, it's a last picture of, um, or, you know, one of the last, there's just a lot of pictures here. It looks like about victimhood, not getting your way. It's like an excuse and it, it you know, cause it feels like that. And so then it creates a, a, a thought and then it happens again and then that thought is validated and so it starts becoming a belief that the world works against you that you have a rough time that the universe doesn't want you to succeed that people don't want you to succeed so it, it, i'm seeing all these it gathered a lot of different beliefs around it and it looks like this is coming up in the collective that that's not the truth but it is showing you it is showing up in your experience to let you know that this is the belief is this belief serving me now it feels real because it's practiced and so it has a lot of momentum to it so it feels powerful and sometimes we misconstrue the feeling of an energy we call it powerful because it does, it has a lot of momentum. So it's hard to ignore it, but it's not more powerful than the energy of belonging, of loving, of being cared for, of flow and things working through. That things are working for you. The universe is working for you. Oh, wow. Okay. So in current energies, you are, you might be noticing that you are very powerful, a very powerful manifester right now. Um, this happened to me, was it just yesterday, thinking of something just out of the blue, did I, and then, and then it happened. So was I tuning into an energy and then, you know, I tuned into it on my crown chakra. I liked it. So I kept tuning into it. That activates my um, energetic, my chakras, my energy. And then that made me susceptible to be a match and meet that energy within an hour it was close it was nearby i tuned into it activated that energy and became a match for that 3d experience same thing can can same thing can happen but something unwanted something unwanted <clears throat> maybe scary or 
creates a negative, unwanted emotional response, but I keep tuning into it because it's, it's got a lot of momentum to it. And I'm, I haven't been very disciplined about my thoughts. And so I tune into that energy and start thinking about it and feeling my energy of my body changes and I'm uh, irritated and upset and the world is against me. And this people purposely are trying to thwart my progress or whatever story. And then that is now activated in my space and I create a meetup with that energy. Um, you're probably going to notice how quickly when you think of something like that and tune into it, how it shows up in your environment. It's okay to have, um, what are they? Intrusive thoughts. That's because you're so creative. And you have access to infinite possible timelines. Don't get mad at yourself. It's not a bad thing. It's a creative thing. But just notice, oh, I I don't like, no, I'm not going to think about that. That's nothing positive is going to come from that, from entertaining that. I will just start tuning into that energy and being a match for that type of energy. I started noticing what I was watching on, on scrolling like Facebook at night started having a, a darker turn. And I was like, oh, I feel really gross after a while of tuning into the videos that I was. I was like, this is not entertaining in a way. I know too much about energy and vibration to waste my vibration on this type of energy because I do I want to create that in my life no so I need to be responsible for what energies I'm tuning into yeah um it looks like a lot of you are tuning into um what creates fulfillment in your space, some new passion project that you have, something that you are focused on. I feel like this is, um, whatever this, excuse me, this project is, this something that's coming up in the near future, in the next month, month or two, something you're really excited about, something that's, to you might, signal for yourself like the your the phoenix rising from the ashes type of feeling that you're no longer um in the mental prison Ooh, okay so but this is a side story. There's something going on also in your current energy, um, something that you were in a mental prison about someone, a situation. I mean, this is something, talk about momentum that you spent so much time thinking about. So your energy was really focused on this. I'm going to say it's a person, a connection between you and someone else, someone who's really smart i mean this is someone who's very intelligent but they're um cold they they're not comfortable with their emotions and they can be real exacting i it's very interesting about your energies right now um you're both using this kind of tactic where like I don't I don't see you I'm 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 not like oh uh, okay you guys you both are pretending that you've moved on that you're not still stuck a bit stuck there's something unresolved here there's something that 
Hmm. What do we need to know about this? It feels unresolved. Like there's something that I think by both of you kind of have, have yet to fully detach. Maybe because this energy between the two of you just had a lot of momentum and it's slowing down. It's receding. It's not feeling as powerful. Wow. So is the vice versa deck. So that's the typical front image of strength. This is what you got. Strength and the devil. From this perspective, I feel like you are the maiden here with the lion feeling very strong and empowered. And there's just, I, I feel like you're from your perspective, you view this person and as very toxic. Very, very toxic. And you've got, I feel like this lion is not only like the inner strength that you have now, and but also energies around you to protect you, guide you. I feel like this devil energy is just looking at you like, I, I don't know how to get you away from that lion, from your strength. So again, it feels like an impasse. It feels like, okay, well, here we are. There's, we're not, it doesn't feel like it's moving anywhere. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's, uh, Oh, okay. Interesting. So going back, looking at, you know, at, we started this reading with treasure for the soul, how when you share energy with objects, so say crystal, um, and you imbue your energy, you, you do it frequently enough that your energy leaves like a mark within that object and others especially people who are sensitive can i think even people who who don't know what it is but they they know something's up i think a lot of people are more sensitive than they let on because they don't know how to communicate it doesn't make sense anywho i'm getting the feeling as i'm tuning into the energy of this connection that there's there is a lot of energy of love in this connection and then it started um also being where both of you put your blame and resentment because of not telling the truth to yourself and each other and so it became the <clears throat> It became this, instead of communicating and talking about and the resentment, what was causing frustration and resentment in this connection, there's just a pretending that everything is okay, because that's how I prefer it. Um, and just a build up. So the, the love is very foundation. I mean, it's in there. When I'm tuning into this connection, there is love there, a lot of love. However, it is so overshadowed by the practice, the momentum of both of your energies that have been unexpressed, that have remained thoughts. That's what I'm getting. There's a lack of communication. A lack of honesty. 
I feel like both of you kept quiet to try to find success in this connection. Ironically, keeping quiet and not airing your, your grievances and a, it doesn't even feel like one of you failed or didn't do it right. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there was an inability to communicate. One of you, one or both of you refused to la 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 la. Like that could be a little bit both of you. I feel like you're you're both, um, I don't know, viewing this from very different points of view. It feels like the other person is still fiery and angry and you are more resolute and, you know, it had to happen. I'm dealing with the emotions, but I'm putting it behind me. All right. All right. I feel like um very interesting message coming in. I feel like it's um looking at the split. This is like only a third of you, a third of you, something wildly miraculous is going to happen around this. Like, um, a bucket list kind of communication about this. It feels good. It feels shocking though, because you're like, Wow, I I was not expecting that. And that communication brings balance. So I I don't feel this isn't like um a reconnection of the this isn't we're all happy now and we're gonna go back into a relationship. This is some sort of communication that comes in unexpectedly blows your mind and brings healing and balance it balances this out i don't know what message this could be i don't i'm but somehow this communication it definitely feels like the connection is over but it still feels good because at the beginning of tuning into this um, connection, I was like, there feels like there's something unresolved. Like it's hard for everybody to do like a last little thing. There's something for some of you that a communication that mind blowing and it just brings such resolution and peace and feels like you can really let go of this in a very healing way, just letting it go. And that's, that's good. Like it feels really good. Now for other um, 30, 50%, I don't know, it switches the percentages. You've got someone who is um, refusing to to change, which is actually their energy signature. This is someone very stubborn. Um, quite possibly, it could be an air sign. The person, if the person you've been dealing with is an air sign, Gemini, oh my God, Virgo, I, God, I can't think right now. You know what air signs are, if that means something. Aquarius, 
Libra. And then Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if your person is, I mean, they both feel very stubborn, but if your person you've been dealing with is an earth sign, they're not going to switch course. They're still on a course for um, the slowest, refusing to change, digging in, like just, it's so painful, this growth thing that you've been doing and setting an example for others around you and this person just they're not ready I'm not mad at them which is interesting I I just um I get that they're on their own path so this person does not feel like they're going to communicate anything they're doubling down they keep doubling down like I'm positive I'm right I am positive I'm right and so I'm going to keep doing it even though it's creating a very miserable scenario for myself wow three nights in a row okay so this is the 30 percent so those of you who are dealing this person you've been dealing with wow okay so a third of you are dealing with an air sign it seems like they're going to bring the communication in that's shocking and brings balance your person that you've been dealing with is an earth sign, they're doubling down. They're just, um, I feel bad for this person. Like they're just, um, uh, yeah, they, they won't back down and not in a healthy way. They're turning their back on change and on you and on everything. And um, they're so sure that they're right. Now, another thing, so a, a third of you, if you've been dealing with a fire sign, ooh, they're, they're actually, they're getting some, a bit of a wake up call. Wow. They're leveling up. They're really feeling um, a call to action. Ooh, they're also stubborn. <laughs> um, they're stubborn, but they're leveling up. Wow. And if you are dealing with a fire sign, They've got some um, new opportunity. I feel like they see you as um, like you could build a new opportunity with this person. That um, like now I see I see what was messed up about the or wasn't working. And I feel like, the, I feel like this person might be at least starting to see, um, okay, this could be either that they're seeing that you have a new way of being, a new opportunity. They have a new opportunity. That does not seem as likely. Or they see a new opportunity, a new beginning with you. I don't know that the last one makes me a little like, um, I don't know if they've done, they've have enough momentum in this new belief system that it has a lot of power. They feel like they switch their energy a bit back and forth in and out. And, um, so I'm not sure if they really even fully believe these new ideas. Time would tell. I wouldn't doubt this person and say, I doubt you, I doubt I don't, but I just feel like this person, um, <clears throat> it takes them a while to stay. They need to show you that they can stick with something before you're going to 
acquiesce and get on board. This is going to take time to build some trust. Wow, interesting. All right, in the center of your reading is truth in reverse. Truth in reverse. I feel like this is a message that a lot of... Um, what's been happening here is when we lie to ourselves, when we're unconscious, when we're, we refuse to see the truth about ourselves, what we're thinking, what we're feeling, and that we don't tell the truth to others, that we create these scenarios. Feels like we're, as a collective, deciding that we don't want to fit in a box in society that there's enough space in the world and the universe for all of us to follow our truth so that we don't have to have everybody else agree with us to um well to stop feeling so insecure that insecurity comes from within. It's the the calls coming from within the house. There's once you have your truth and you follow that energy, it's like you hold your own. That's very empowering. Boy, that just kind of. All right, what else do we need to know about truth? So the beauty is that once you did beauty and difficulty, this feels like, yeah, oh, yay, spirit, as soon as I learned the truth, and I've had to just leave. I've had to uproot my life. I've had to, I feel like in the process of it, that is such, it's so difficult, but it is being done. All of this is for your benefit. I feel like you can't, someone who tries to sell you a lie now, even if they're lying to themselves and they believe it themselves, I just, you're like, I, sorry. I value myself too much. I might not be able to even say exactly, communicate what it is about your energy that is that is creating a need to bolt and leave from your energy, but um, I feel like you you follow that intuition even if you can't communicate it to someone, I feel like you can't really communicate that to someone who's just really stuck on a lie. I'm also getting that um, as you've leveled up, there are some people around you who are, the, this type of lie energy is someone coming in And they want to know, I think you're, you want, you've had a period of time of getting rid of, of sloughing off, of purging from people and situations. And so it's created a, a lot of space in your world and not as many people as you would like your world populated with, at least currently. And someone is coming in to someone from your past, like, hey, how's it going? I get that you're kind of, I feel like you might be on the fence. This might just be for a few of you. This might put you on the fence. Like, I don't know, but I really want this person and I to connect or reconnect like a friend, maybe family member. 
but there's some little like, I don't know, I don't trust this person. I get the feeling that this person just wants the, um, they, they don't care about you. That's what the little alarm is. They want to gather information so they can share it with everybody else. This is how this person um, finds value and acceptance in whatever group they're sharing that personal information about you with. This is, um, otherwise people don't wanna talk to them. If this person is a uh, gossip, that's what they're doing. You know that your name is not safe when you're not in the room. Yeah, that's who that is. All right, your challenge right now is stand your ground. I'm getting this vibrationally, stand your ground to stay in your, stay as aligned as you can. Remember alignment and enlightenment even isn't a, once I hit the enlightenment, I am enlightened forever. I get my certificate and graduation and I am now an enlightened being. Not how it works. You, we all have moments of enlightenment, of being aligned energetically in balance and then but most of us stumble into it from time to time we let go of something we do something different and we just kind of pop back into an alignment if you are tuning in chances are you want to consciously create more of those moments of alignment consciously more time in that flow space in that alignment in that balance in that harmony so what i'm getting is to tune your energy into your alignment and not allowing um the energies the chaotic energies around you to to not match those energies and become them but to go about your world and it's okay to notice chaos and things not working the way you would prefer, but not joining in that energy, not matching it in your crown. So you start matching it, but just, just because it's showing up in your experience doesn't mean you have to jump in both feet and match and become that you can just like an energy a thought comes in and you're like oh no you could do that with your environment and just observe <clears throat> i'm observing this message came up yesterday it, i did a, a reading a video yesterday um and it, it was really good it was all about how it was really good i just i mean it's amazing i love the message it was helpful things, difficulties coming up in your environment to not match that energy, to just observe, to not make it bigger than it is. And things always happen like that, or don't create more beliefs. Just this is like aftershocks. There are, there's a lot of chaos in the energies right now. Stay as grounded and as aligned as you can and observe don't fully join in that energy so anyway um yeah and then the video disappeared and i couldn't upload it and i was like well that actually is the message of the video that things aren't going to go my way and and it did all yesterday it was crazy chaotic so um anyway i hope this was helpful let me know in the comments Hope all's going well with you. Take care. Bye.